Hello and welcome to C++ Weekly. I'm your host, Jason Turner. In this episode, I'm going to discuss C++ 17's new variadic using declarations. And I am going to do this by starting with the example from episode 40, Inheriting from Lambdas. Now, in episode 40, we ended up with code that was something like this, where we took two lambdas, inherited from them, and took them by copy and moved them into the base classes. And then we had these two using declarations for the operator paren for b1 and b2. Then in our example here, we took advantage of C++17's class template type deduction feature. So we didn't have to actually specify the types of these lambdas, which is kind of important because the type of a lambda is unknowable by definition. So we can call our merged function with the value 10, which calls this one that takes a constant i returning 10 times 10, and we can see 100 is returned here from main, or we can take this version and remove the 10 from it, which calls the version with no parameters and ends up returning 4 from main. Now, this code has a few problems with it. The first being that it is limited to inheriting from two lambdas, and we could do 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, but the problem is that we have to have a using declaration for each of these base classes. And if we comment them out, we can see that we get a compiler error that the request for operator paren is ambiguous. And that is because we needed to pull these two operator parens into the scope of merged so that the overload resolution can operate as expected. So we're going to instead make this variadic. We are not going to take these by move. Instead, we're going to do perfect forwarding, and we're going to make this into a variadic version of our using declaration. Now, the first part is very simple. We're just going to make this into a variadic template, and we're going to derive from our base classes variadically. Now, to make this work with perfect forwarding, we need to take perfect forwarding references of all of the passed in objects into our constructor. And that works for what we want here, but we're getting a mismatched argument pack length, and I'll get to that in a minute. But let's go ahead and finish out our variadic using declarations. And it's just that simple. Now this becomes the body of our new merged class. But we have a problem because now our constructor has a different template parameter pack than our struct does. So C17's class template type deduction cannot work, but we can fix that with a deduction guide. And for our example here, I'm going to use dkt so that whatever is passed in, we are actually getting the underlying type of it, not a reference or an R value reference or whatever else it might be. And now we can add in extra lambdas that do whatever we want them to do. And now we have our merged that inherits from three different possibilities. So if we send no parameters to it, then we get a 4 back. If we pass an integer, then we get that integer times 10, and we're seeing this 100 being returned. Or if we pass in a floating point value, then the double version gets resolved, and we are getting back our double times 3.2, as you see here. And this has also interesting possibilities, and because we are taking things by perfect forwarding, and we don't have to worry about making a copy or whatever, we you know, can do things like capture a So perhaps not the best example, but we are able to pass in a non-copyable lambda that has a unique pointer in its capture list. So there you have it. This is using C++17's variadic using declarations with C++17's class template type deduction and deduction guides to make a very succinct way of merging a bunch of lambdas together. And hopefully we'll be able to use this in a future episode for some practical applications. 
Be sure to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and check out any of the links below.